Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to fix a clogged spray bottle. I'll be going over the easiest method for fixing a spray bottle just like this one that is clogged up. Let's get right into the video. First and foremost, just for full disclosure, this spray bottle is not clogged, but I've dealt with many different spray bottles that are clogged and I end up unclogging them, which saves me from having to buy a new spray bottle. This is especially useful if there's some product inside of the bottle that you don't want to waste. So you want to unclog it. Let's get right into the video. I'll be going over four things that you can do. The first thing is just to get a uh, little bowl of warm water just like this and you want to remove the lid of the spray bottle okay and obviously if there's any product on the straw you want to wipe off any of the product that is on the straw take your spray bottle okay and just place the spray portion just like this upside down in the water okay all that you need to do is usually place it inside of good a nice good bowl of warm water so not not like anything that's cool or lukewarm you want it to really be warm place the lid like this just move it around for about half a minute or so um, and then take it out and try it again so put it back on the bottle and try it out Okay, and hopefully that works because sometimes there's just a little piece at the end that is clogged up. Okay, um, also a little bit of a side note here, make sure that the bottle is on. Sometimes we turn the bottle off and it doesn't work and wonder why it doesn't work. Make sure that your sprayer is on. Okay, you really want to make sure that your sprayer is on. There's a big difference between it being off and on. In this one, you twist it like this. In other ones, it's just going to go on and off like from for on a 90 degree angle um, or even a 180 to turn it on and off. Okay, so that's the first method. The second method is actually one step up, which is to take out the straw and see if there's anything in the straw. And I'm not going to do that with this one because there's a lot more involved in removing the straw with this and it's not actually clogged. But in most spray bottles, you're going to just be able to pull the straw off and you want to see because you can probably see the straw over here, but you want to see the straw at the top to see if anything's clogging it up. And if it is, then you want to use that warm water to maybe rinse out the straw or rinse out this portion of the spray bottle, of the sprayer portion, and hopefully that unclogs it. Okay, the third thing is you want to get to where the nozzle is over here, and you can just use a can of compressed air or even just blow with your mouth going just blow into that spot because there might be something that's clogging it there. Um, and you can even sometimes get a little, like a toothpick and just sort of poke at this just slightly with a toothpick. You don't want to really put the toothpick in there depending on if it can fit or not. Um, but you want to just sort of maybe just, just go like this with the toothpick over there because there might be just a little something that's clogging it right there. If you've already checked the straw, if you've already soaked it in water and it's still not working, then you can use the toothpick to hopefully just pick at whatever it is there that is clogging it up. Last but not least is number four, which is the sort of the last resort method. It's not that it's anything bad, but it, it's just like if nothing else works, this will likely work. That is to take your sprayer, put it upside down in the warm water, like I said before, and then you want to pump the sprayer like this. So you can see the air bubbles. That's telling you obviously that it's working because it's, it's sucking air from the straw and putting air into the water. Okay, so you want to keep pumping like that until you see it is going to be spewing out, a, you know, whatever was in the bottle. It might be a different color, like it might be a blue liquid or a green liquid or a, a whitish, you know, uh, creamy color, right? Or you want to look for bubbles like that because that means that it is pumping out air and that means that you're unclogged. So you want to just go like this and this will really help it try and get unclogged. And then once you see those bubbles or the the product that's in the straw coming out like that, um, then, then you're good to go. Then it's unclogged and you're good to go. That's basically it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.